Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Rome playthrough where things are going well and we now have an Egyptian colony right here in this little small place called Alexandria. Um, currently at peace, we do have some scorned families, but not many actually. A few exiled armies which we're dealing with over here. Some starving pops here. How much are they starving by? Ooh, quite a lot. There are a lot of slaves here. So yeah, that that's quite a populous little place. Big place, actually. Uh... Oh, um... Oh, well... No reason for them to be lacking. That's our third navy now. Because we have uh, three. You can be assigned to the region there. the guy I just swapped out in. That's really annoying. Let's go squelch some barbarians here. Now these guys can actually go on to independent operations in their areas. Because they can't leave their areas, so actually having them on independent operations is a really good idea because they'll just wander around where they're needed. As and when. Capture Masselia. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God's sake, go hit them rather than let them keep rampaging. So uh, maybe letting my uh, armies do what they want is a bad idea. Now they can go back onto independent operations. So we do still have our extra legions here. I've got the, poss the capability to build many more as well. Um, we are fortifying our assets there. Because while we have reduced Egypt, they're still fairly powerful and they will definitely be holding a grudge. Integrating Athen Athens. Uh, where else do we have at the moment? <laughs> if 
the cultural group is going to be a big thing. Um, our aggressive expansion is causing some recently declared war. Isn't great. So the declared war will drop off over time. We will slowly get all of these guys in. I'm not in any rush, so, you know, obviously Carthage is uh, after the game finishes. So, I don't even know why I'm wasting time on that. I'd be better to cancel their client status, but... Administering their territory is not necessarily a useful thing for us, but let slowly integrating... There may be techs where we can improve those integration speeds. Interesting. Well, we just learnt where we're sending my extra legions. Because this is not going to be a small war. And that little state will I get. Battered. Embezzler. You'll do that. Let's get a couple more legions going at least. So we're going to keep pushing these legions out, guys, until we've got lots of them, I'm surprised. You're going to go that end. Oops. So he is good for heavy infantry and elephants. Let's give him a couple more elephants. He's a bit of a specialist there, so. Right, let's get Buyo Ayakas in. Yeah, that extra martial and discipline is very good. So we're going to get him in. You are now a citizen of Rome. I wish I could do it from this menu, but that would be far too sensible. Lots of elephants going. <laughs> so much building going on there. Yeah, perfect place to just, just drop them to start with. And this legion is going to be taken over to Spain. Fabrication of claims is going to start going en masse. Let's 
keep that being pushed up as much as we can. Um, that does us a lot of good. Um, and taking these guys down a chunk will be useful, so... Why have they stood somewhere they're taking attrition? Oh, they're just taking attrition because they're going through. Well, in fact... Soon we'll be uh, spreading our navies out a bit more. Then you're going to build a road up there. Just because all these guys are not friends with them doesn't necessarily mean they're actually going to join the war. Uh, so he won't be able to help. Some extra roads is good. All this is going to be fun very soon. Ooh! We had an earthquake. We will uh, assist. I accidentally clicked to climb there, didn't I? Right, that's enough. Claim on these guys. Oh, good God. I thought I had a claim on them. Wasted all of my stuff claiming fabricating claims around here. That's sad. Oh, 
Oh wait, Debonia. We're only after a small thing here, so... Oh, good god. Defend the right of the locals. Oh. I've kind of messed up a little bit here. Again. We are still going to do this war, we're just going to do this short war first. You're going to keep sitting there. Devonia is quite powerful up there, but I'm not hugely worried about that. Especially with all my elephants. Make sure we slow down the speed a little bit, please. We need to start capturing the region we actually wanted to capture in the first place. And the one I actually have a claim on. All of that, to be fair, it's not a small bit. You are going to come down and be ferried over. Ooh. You're going to come over and be ferried over while these two have fun over here. extra slave output is very good when you consider how many slaves I have. their capital. That's always a good thing to do. Don't want to take the stability loss. Oh, damn it. Let's take the slaves. can both head up here. We're still doing great on income. <laughs> Leaving those fleets on independent operations. Long run, what we'll do is we ideally want fleets sitting in all the choke points because they'll wipe out the pirates long run. Oh my god, there are pirates there.
To be fair, second we captured that, we'll have got everything we want here. I'm the war with these guys, but I'm not fussed by that. They're not really a threat. I could sell somebody around to Burnia, but why? And you can go there to back up just in case. We are burning for a bit of manpower here. Here is now Fortress Egypt. Start the integration of Crete as well. Don't know why I don't just take these places. I do like having some vassals. They just provide a little bit of extra oomph, especially when you're having issues. And they do give you income, so they're still nice to have, but... It's not always necessarily the best thing. Oh wow, I thought I had a higher opinion. We'll go back to them in a few. Their capital has fallen to us. Oh wow, Kush is, yeah. This has all gone my way so far. I'm gonna build a very basic home legion there. I'm not really that fast. This legion is not going to do anything other than sit here. Oh good god, it's my capital region. Oh bugger. Never mind. I thought this was counted as a different region. Let's cancel building this one then.
I mean, these guys are great because we're all Hellenic, which helps, but... I know some people sit there and say, but the Romans weren't Hellenic. Romans weren't. They were close enough. It, their religion was very definitely based off of the same pantheons. Just with different names. So I'm not ready to do that just yet while we're still in this war, but we will definitely be doing that. Even more legions coming. One of the things which is going to cause us to start doing a lot of things is to make sure we can march between our territories. Because at the moment, it's not always easy for us to actually march to everywhere and get armies in positions. So what's the main reason I want to consolidate this coast? Because then it's actually a bit easier for us to move people around. Gorgos. These poor guys. Ooh. No, you can come and deal with them. Paras and um, however I pronounce his name. sure generals of one thing I always want to make sure I've got the best one that I can possibly have because well they make a big difference the level of a general actually makes a huge difference I put too many equites in the last army We definitely don't need with this many elephants. Having the odd one which is slightly bigger is not a huge problem. Uh, you can actually just take somebody from a family. So reduce the unrest there. Do you think it looks like I've uh, done a call to arms a bit in Rome? I need to finish off capping all that, but that'll get us that coast. I wish 
I wish there were ones I could do there which I could integrate e more easily, if I'm honest. Um, I need to have a proper look at how that works to work out if there is a way of changing it a bit more because it seems a bit odd that I can't integrate them. Let's hold here. Tribute income is obviously good for us. Now a war score is just ticking in our way. I could just take that, which is what I wanted, but I can afford a little more aggressive expansion than that. We're just going to spread our legions around as we build them, because now we've got the really big income, though I have uh, eaten into my income substantially there, which is good. I don't want too big an income, so we're also at war, which is expensive. So I may as well take some extra territory here. I mean, these guys all know what's coming long run because, well, let's be honest, they're in a, they're in my way. Which is never a good thing to be. Siege engineers, please. What was that? Siege engines. I will accept that. There we go. We've nicely split them in half. Fortress building on my borders, or oh, people have built here already. How dare they have, uh, you know, done things like that? Uh, 
There we go. I need some fresh blood. Massively. to pick up a couple of extra armies. We're going to attempt to fight a bit more defensively around here, but we'll see how that goes. Because I don't really want to be pushing up into Gaul itself, though taking them down a, a bit wouldn't wouldn't be bad. Obviously here is the place which has to fall. Finished building first, however. Let's go help my allies there while we invade the other end. You know that thing I said about mostly fighting this defensively? Yeah. Ignore what I said. somewhere useful. Uh, that's fine, let's uh, get the religious faction to back me. Let's march on their capital. I'd like you to take them over here to help. March on there. Okay, you can march up there because they can't, because they're bloody stupid. Because it's the regional army, so I can't march out of the region. doing quite well here. We are already almost control of a war goal. These guys are just going to get battered into non-existence as well, as quickly as I can. Uh, 
Oh, I'm at war with them as well. I did not realize that. To be fair, some of these legions really would be more useful over there. We are finally beginning to run a slight negative, but only a slight negative. As soon as this legion comes in, it's going to go relieve there. We now control all the war goal down here. over all of that. You guys can go hit that. This is going to be quite a good war actually. We should get a we should be able to get quite a bit out of it. take a few families in on mass at the end of this war because we're struggling a little bit manpower wise just now so I'm losing well, Carthage is losing some territory do I really care about Carthage losing some territory not really some regions are far bigger than others. We we'll start throwing ourselves into the centre here a bit. So this is just them on their own. Take everything, please. Um. See how midi, yep. So a couple of extra extra families there. They won't join just yet. If 
theoretically I could sue for peace with these guys separately, but that would be a bad idea because then I'd lose all my war goals. Um, because this is my war goal, basically. There we go, some shiny new commanders to put into some of these guys. Not seen any of these guys who were at war with, so some of them aren't losing territory to other people than me. There you go, this is now over, that's everything I want basically. He says, I, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna push this up to 100. Uh, how my integrations going? Okay. Ooh, let's look at Crete. Uh, let's force that through. Well, I mean, these guys are finding out what happens when you pose a threat to the, uh, might of Rome. I don't get why it gives you such odd things. It's quite a bit of war Exhaust, aggressive expansion, but... I'm gonna need to take a break after this because it's quite a bit. Ooh, he is definitely being brought in. He is definitely being brought in. not bad. Okay. Unsurprisingly, our new province is disloyal. Oh, Iolia.
It's a single one. I can cope with a single one. Um, though. I think things are going reasonably. We need, do need to spend some time now just reducing because things are a little more fraught now, but we're not, we're not approaching rebellion yet. We've got lots of legions nicely spread around my uh, fledgling empire. Well, it's not even fledgling empire, my empire. new territories which I can uh, support. Oh my trading god. I'm looking forward to uh, Cicero with the auto except for these. I am currently running a bit of a nasty negative though I've got plenty of income to soak that so. Yes, please. I think a lot of people broke off with me because of that aggressive expansion. Negotiating with slaves. We don't have any slave revolts at the moment, so why would I want to negotiate with them? Just because they're slightly unhappy? Who cares? which are messing this up. I'm going to start scouring this coast next. My omen has run out. Don't want to be wasting money just now. Especially running that big a negative. I may need to drop a legion or two.
Do a bit of a mass assimilation, assimilation and conversion here. I can't afford to do much more. Just to try and keep them a bit happier. Granaries do... I thought granaries also helped keep slaves happy. Should have a bit of an impact on this. Not huge, but still. Well, for us, you know what? For now, disband because there's loyal cohorts. Reducing the army maintenance cost should have a big impact too. I'm really confused as to what went wrong there. Why that suddenly dropped from such a massive amount. But we can soak it for the time being. drop one of my navies. Ah. So we don't need all those navies at the moment. There we go. That new room is gonna mess that up though because he is terrible. Integrating all of them. It's just Macedon. No point working on that at the moment. Okay. 
And with that, we are going to uh, leave this one again for today, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games. Thank you very much for watching, guys.